In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a panettone French toast. This is what we eat on Christmas day morning. This is the morning where we feel like we can splurge and we can eat something more luxurious than the rest of the year. If you're new on my channel, my name is Anya and I love sharing our simple heritage homemaking and homesteading journey here at our gabled home. And let's get making the panettone French toast. Obviously you will need panettone and usually it's really easy to pick it up in the stores. You can also order it online. I'll be leaving some links below where you can find it if you're still looking for panettone. It is a Italian, really fluffy, uh, dried fruit, yeast based, uh, sweet cake, if you will. And I'll open it in a moment. You can see what it looks like if you haven't seen it before. Then we'll use two eggs. We will use a half a cup of milk and I'm worried about my eggs rolling off my table here. We will need some vanilla extract. I always make my own. Here is how. And we need some cinnamon and then we need some butter to fry the panettone up. I also have a very shallow bowl in which I can roll the slices and a whisk and a good bread knife. So this is always my favorite moment here, opening up the panettone. I'm not even sure if you can get this year round, but for us, it is a very distinct holiday treat. So here it is. And it comes wrapped. It is a round, rather high cake. Somebody was having fun putting this tie around there. And then you have some paper around it. I have often cut through the paper when I'm cutting my slices or you can peel the paper off e either way. I will cut four slices out of this and with panettone, unfortunately, there's no good way to make all the slices super even. So you're gonna have some smaller and some bigger slices. So I'm gonna start cutting this one right here. As you can see with a good bread knife, you can cut right through the paper. And if you're not using the whole panettone, which from my recipe, I won't because I feel like that's just a little bit too much French toast, too much of a good thing in the morning. You can keep it in the paper and it will last. So here's the first slice. Without destroying the slices, as you can see, the panettone is actually a very light, airy, fluffy loaf. It's not like a German denser uh, Stollen, which is similar, but um, a lot denser than the panettone. I will cut one more. So if you're like my family, we always have somebody who eats a little bit less. Usually that's me because I just don't need as much food as my sons or my husband. So I'll get the smaller slice and they get the bigger slices. So here I have my four slices. You want to move them carefully so they don't break apart, which um, tastes still the same, but makes the presentation a little bit less festive. So we'll have these slices here. And now we'll make the, um, the egg mixture. I'm gonna crack the two eggs into the shallow bowl. And 
And the first thing I'm gonna do is whip them up with a whisk. Then I'll add my spices and my milk last because usually it splatters all around. And I'm gonna use about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. However, this recipe is really flexible. If you love cinnamon a lot, or you're making a bigger batch, go ahead and make, put a little bit more cinnamon in there. You can never have enough cinnamon. And then my homemade vanilla extract, I wanna say about a teaspoon or so. And I'm slowly adding my half a cup of milk. Now I'm moving the paper here off my first slice. And I like to soak my slices quite a bit. And sometimes you have to make sure that you get all the paper um, the paper is not going to kill you, but it is very chewy and you'll notice, oh, there's something that does not belong into my French toast. So I'll put that in here and let that soak in. In the meantime, I'm going to get a fork and I'll start my cast iron skillet on a low medium heat. We want to soak both sides of the Panettone French toast in the egg mixture. The more the better. It's Christmas after all. I can go ahead and move the um, paper off the remaining slices here so I don't have to do that last minute. Obviously you can remove the paper from the entire loaf before you even get started. Now we'll add a little bit of butter to the hot skillet. I'm going to take you over here to my stove and I'll bring all of this over here. So I'll add a good two teaspoons of butter to my hot skillet. And if you're making bigger batches and you're making more. So here's the um, challenge to not let the panettone slices break. I'm gonna use two hands here. This one is gonna be challenging. And there we go. Now, if you're making a bigger batch, you can always turn the oven to about 200 degrees and transfer the finished panettone French toast slices to a plate and then keep them warm in the oven so that everybody gets a warm, fresh slice. The trick with cast iron is always to let it sit just a little bit longer so that it doesn't cake on and it comes off really nicely. In the meantime, I'm soaking my next slice in the extra mixture. I'm gonna do that here. We'll see if we can flip this one. And I have a feeling, oh, it held together. That's why I like to use a little bit more eggs than in some recipes for French toast. It's nice golden brown. And I don't know if you can hear it, 
but there's some music going on in there. There's a high pitched whistle. <laughs> My French toast is singing. And now there's a different tone. That's pretty funny. I wonder if it's the raisins or apricots. I'll give this a peek. I think this one is done. And then I'll transfer it to a plate. Now you can put this in a warm oven while you're making the remaining slices. So here is the finished product. Four slices of beautiful, yummy panettone French toast. And I'm actually gonna try a little bit. Eating on camera is always a little funny, but I'm gonna try a little bit. Mm. And I can already tell it's very moist. It's very light and fluffy and crunchy. Mm. And just so luxurious. Panettone French toast for Christmas day morning breakfast. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, I always love it if you give me a like and if you subscribe to my channel, if you're new here, and if you're looking for more recipes for the holidays, I have an entire playlist up here. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.